welcome my love to the oddball yoga i am bell and i will be your yogi guide for today's practice today is a cozy yin yoga practice specifically curated for the cold winter days so if you're feeling slight stagnation physical stagnation feeling sluggish this would be a perfect practice for you to restore some vitality without further ado come in your most comfortable outfit your hoodie your pajamas your fancy socks your whimsical socks light some candles get some self-love mood going on bring your hot cocoa by your side get comfy and grab hold of your yin support system so yin support system being a bolster or two pillows two blocks if you may or a thick book a blanket or two you can never have too many maybe a soft toy and once you grab hold of all of them surround them around your mat get cozy get your vibe going and we are going to begin today's practice with square pose so come to a comfortable seat and you may elevate your hip by sitting on your blanket whenever you're ready come to stack your right shin above your left to form almost a square in front of you if you know this your right knee hovering away from your left you may place a block in between them flexing to your right foot to protect your right knee here and once you find that comfortable position where you can feel a little bit of stretch but not too painful you may come to proper block in front of you as you slowly come to fold forward resting your forehead on the block propping on your forearm maybe and come to find stillness as you close your eyes and allow yourself to come into the practice This is a yin practice, so we are going to stay in each pose for a longer period of time as compared to yang. If you're feeling a little restless, it's perfectly normal. Just allow yourself to connect with your breath. Allow your breath to draw yourself to the present as you deepen your breath. And just let gravity do its job over the cause as you hold in the poses. As you deepen through the poses, maybe you may choose to remove the block halfway if that feels better to fall deeper. It's not a competition here so just when you feel like you want to have more yumminess maybe and you feel like your body needs it you may remove the block otherwise just stay still for one more breath beautiful on your next exhale you may slowly rise up Slowly crawl all the way up and release both feet in front of you and just give it a paddle. Imagine yourself pitter pattering through the rain or maybe on the powder of snow here, releasing some tension through your leg, releasing through the area that you've compressed earlier. And whenever you're ready, we're moving on to the other side. So come to fold your right foot in. 
before allowing your left shin to stack above your right. This side may feel different from the other, so if you find yourself hovering here, your left knee hovering, and your right knee didn't do that earlier, it's perfectly normal. You may come to prop up again with your block in between your left knee and your right leg. Find what's comfortable for this side and whenever you're ready, fall forward onto a block or onto the ground depending on where your body's at today. Find that comfortable itch where you can feel that gentle compression through your hip flexor, a gentle opening through your hips, through your groin. Maybe some release through the lower back here. And take this moment to breathe in and out. This pose stimulates the kidney and urinary bladder meridians which governs fear and vitality. We would be stimulating this meridian a lot throughout the practice, mainly to restore some vitality through the body and releasing the fear stagnant within our body allow yourself one final release whatever that means to you and as you exhale slowly walk yourself out of the pose take your time this is a nourishing practice so allow yourself to take your time as you extend both feet forward again allow yourself to pedal through here releasing any compression and stress through both legs here allowing nutrients to seep in from the pose earlier Great. Now maintaining both feet in front of you, we are moving into half butterfly pose. So come to draw your right foot in towards your left inner thigh, almost like three pose here. And we come to prop up maybe a blanket right underneath your left knee if you have a little hyperextension through the knee. You may prop two pillows or bolster in front of you parallel to your left knee here. And place a block right underneath your right knee if you notice it hovering again away from the ground key here is to get comfortable so no forcing find what feels best for you and whenever you're ready fall forward if you need to bend further to the front knee feel free to do so if that's what's comfortable and maybe roll your blanket up a little higher to get more comfortable wherever you're at allow yourself to fold notice gentle release through the lower back opening through the hips and stretch through the back of the leg throughout your front leg nice yummy stretch
this pose stimulates the kidney meridian, energizing our mind. So allow yourself to feel any compression and release here. Sometimes our fear or stagnation of our energy manifests through physical pain. So maybe pain through the lower back. And this is a perfect opportunity for you to release them and notice the difference maybe. One final breath in this position as you exhale slowly roll yourself up gently and remove all your prop to the side you still need them for the other side and again paddle through notice the release the energy flow maybe throughout your leg here as you paddle through and loosen your muscle here Great. Once you're comfortable, move on to the other side. You know where we're going. So, folding in to the left leg this time. Left foot against your right inner thigh. Propping all your prop blanket below your front knee. Block below your left knee bolster or pillows in front of you before you fall forward come to find stillness here allow any stagnation to release gently as you feel the release to your lower back Release to the back of your front leg. Release maybe to your left hip. Notice where your thought goes. And come to observe how you feel in this pose. Wherever you're at, allow yourself to breathe through your thoughts, your feelings. Whatever that arise through this release. One final breath in and as you exhale, slowly walk yourself out of the pose. Placing all your props to the side here. As we move into child's pose, so final pedaling through both legs, easing yourself, feeling that energy flow, as you slowly walk yourself out and up into a tabletop position, come to sit your hips back. Before you fall forward, you may place a block in front to rest your forehead. You may also place a blanket to rest your forehead in front. 
Allow yourself to fall forward, belly to thigh connection. Option for extended child's pose here if that's what you prefer today. Knees to the edge of the mat, toes to meet. Wherever you're at, just sit your hips back. And come to find stillness in this pose as you gradually soften your heart and allow yourself to come home to this cozy corner. Final release to that lower back. You may stay here or if you may, you may slowly lift your forehead up, shift your blanket, your block towards your left side before you crawl towards the left side and fall forward. So adding on with a gentle stretch to your right side body, which stimulates the gallbladder meridian. Allowing yourself to stay here for a while, feeling that yummy stretch, the space created gradually to your side body. And again, release any feeling that rise here, maybe. Allow them to come to surface. you may lift your head up here and crawl towards the right side before you fall forward placing your blanket again towards the right side to allow your forehead to rest on it the gallbladder governs and is the ruler of decision and traditional Chinese maxim so maybe here take a moment to know this any time where there's indecisiveness recently maybe see if you can release that here leave them on the mat as you breathe through your side body One final breath wherever you're at. And exhale, slowly come back to center and way forward. Come to send both feet back. Come to prop up on forearm, elbow below your shoulder. Your feet may be hip distance apart, may be connected together. Whatever feels best for your lower back. If there's still too much compression through the lower back, you may come to place a bolster or a blanket like me right beneath your rib cage here. And we're coming into a sphinx pose. So allow yourself to come to this pose with a slight shrug to the shoulder, unlike Yang and Yin Yoga, we allow a slight shrug and some flexibility through the poses. So you may allow yourself to gaze to the front, to allow your forehead to rest on the block maybe in front of you, or to gaze up. 
opening to the truth. Whatever feels best for you today. Once you find your comfortable edge here, you may come to close your eyes and connect with your breath. In this pose, we are stimulating to the front and back body, hence the meridians throughout, specifically the stomach and spleen meridian. Allow yourself to take a moment here to release any worrying any worries that you've carried through the day any heavy energy that you've carried fatigue take this moment here to maybe allow yourself to release that along with any compression or stretch Feeling the compression through the lower back, opening through your heart, and as you take your final breath in, exhale slowly, open your eyes. We are going to come to take a rest here in between pose. So allow yourself to come to a ground, propping on one side of your face. Just close your eyes and trust me. Allow yourself to rest here for a minute. Releasing the compression through the lower back earlier, allowing energy to flow. Noticing the flow of energy to areas you've compressed earlier in all the poses. Notice any release of blockages of stagnation that you felt, maybe. And just allow yourself to arrive here. One final breath, and whenever you're ready, again, come to prop back up into your sphinx pose. We are coming into a half frog variation, so come to bend to the left knee, flexing through the left foot, come to your half frog like so. You may place a blanket right underneath your inner knee if it hurts, like so. Find what's comfortable. And once you're ready, we are incorporating broken branch here as well with your hands. Allowing your left arm to tread underneath your right, come to form an X. For you allow your head to fall down feeling that compression to your shoulder your front body here you may place a block in front or a blanket in front for your forehead to rest if the compression is too much for you you may just come to prop up just like sphinx on your forearm here wherever you're at once you find a comfortable position come to close your eyes i love this pose for its yummy compression to my shoulder to the front body to the back allowing release to the back body as well here as well as release to your hips
in this pose, we are stimulating again the kidney and urinary bladder meridian, which governs the fear. And with broken branches, we are stimulating the large intestine, which is mainly in charge of releasing of our emotions, moving on, letting go. It's a powerful pose, so allow yourself to draw energy from it, draw strength from it as you release any stagnant energy here. One final breath, exhale, slowly come out of the pose, walk yourself out slowly and come to lie down again, prone. Lie down facing one side, allow yourself to rest here, feeling especially a release through your shoulders through the front body, through your hips, and your inner thigh. Taking a moment here to reset, to release whatever stagnation throughout the body. To rest. Good. Now moving on to the other side, slowly rise up again, propping to your sphinx pose. As you allow your right knee to bend this time, flexing to the right foot to protect your right knee, propping a blanket underneath it if you may. As this time you tread your right arm below your left coming to form t-shape as you fall forward releasing that tension to your shoulder joints again opening to your inner thigh allowing yourself to close your eyes here As I mentioned, this is a powerful pose. So if you feel any repressed emotions surfacing without understanding why, you just feel the need to release it. This is a time maybe to allow yourself that release. That moment of letting go of moving on. Hold yourself in a gentle loving space. There is no need for judgment here. You deserve to feel However you feel at the moment, regardless of your circumstances. Allow yourself to release, to feel, to process. Taking one final breath. As you exhale, unwind both arms, slowly release your right leg back and slowly come to rise up to lie down facing up. Take your time, allow your body to adjust as you slowly move to lie down on your back, both palms to your side facing up. Almost like a savasana here. Close your eyes. Allow yourself to melt for a minute. There 
there's no need to rush here. Take this moment to deepen your breath. Noticing the energy flow throughout your body. Slowly restoring our vitality here. Our vibrancy. Deep breath. And we are moving into happy baby. So allow yourself to slowly hug both knees towards your chest. Releasing through that lower back, rocking side to side, gently, lovingly, before you catch hold of your both, out the edge of both feet. You may stay here almost like a butterfly pose. If that's where you're at, you may grab hold of your shin as well if reaching feet is not an option today. It's not what feels good. Eventually, what matters is you feel good. So you may stay there. Or you may come to draw both feet to face the sky here. Drawing both knees to the ground. Coming to happy baby. So in yin, there's no need to force yourself, your tailbone to point forward. Or your back to ground. Or your shoulders to ground. Just allow your body to arrive wherever it is at and close your eyes. Suddenly I see how hard I've worked for all these years to keep my mind. Again, this is a deep heap opener, so whenever it comes to hips, right? Hips is believed to be our emotional basin. So it holds on to any repressed or stagnant emotion that we store within us without realizing coming into poses like this may allow ourselves to encounter to face our repressed emotion. They might surface right here. Maybe allow yourself, allow them to just arrive here, the surface. So if there's a need to cry or anything actually, any feelings, just allow them to come and sit with them. Hold them in a loving space. One final breath in and exhale, slowly release both feet to the ground and allow yourself to come back into your savasana for a minute before we move on to our next pose. Close your eyes here, allow yourself to be here, to be with your breath. Take this time to maybe release whatever start up, pent up blockages, emotions, fatigue. To the mat. Allow them to melt to the mat. Away from your body here. And release, slowly open your eyes, becoming into supported bridge. So scoot both feet to the back of your hips where your fingertips can touch your heels. And whenever you're ready, come to slowly drive 
to activating your glutes, driving your hips up towards the sky, lifting through your chest, and grab hold of the block next to you to place right underneath your sacrum, which is the flat bit right behind you. Once you find that flat bit right around your tailbone area, you may place your block there and come to prop on the block. You would know it. It would feel absolutely amazing to place your sacrum on it, the flat bit of your back. If it feels uncomfortable, then just readjust it. Take as long as you need to. Once you find that sweet spot, your block may be of the highest level or lower level or the lowest. Whatever feels good for you, there's no need to put it, prop it at the highest level. And once you're ready, you may release both arms to your side, palms facing up, or you may place them above your head, whatever feels good. And you may stay in your bridge, or you may extend both feet forward and come into your waterfall, allowing all emotions that you want to release to trickle away from you, to flush away, releasing any pent up emotions. This is a receptive pose, so maybe allow yourself to be receptive of whatever comes here. Whatever feelings and thoughts that arrive here, allow them to come. Encourage yourself to have an open mind, to slow down and take it easy. One final release, be it physically, mentally, emotionally wherever you're at. Allow yourself to walk both feet back up to supported bridge if you're at waterfall. Trust your hip up before lifting your block and slowly roll down vertebrae by vertebrae all the way down to line. Walking both feet to the side, allow your knees to knock, your back to meet the ground Palms to your side facing up, close your eyes and take this moment to rest. Allowing your body to settle here. Final breath, final pose before we move into Savasana, our recline twist. So hugging both knees to your chest for a moment, rocking side to side maybe, take your time before you allow both knees to fall to one side. Gaze up, allowing that gentle twist Ringing away any fatigue, stagnation, 
maybe on your fear channel your emotions allow yourself allow that twist to ring out whatever that no longer serves you and release Come back up the center. This time, allow both knees to fall to the other side. Letting go of any lingering stress. Maybe one final release and exhale come back up to center one deep breath in before you release both feet out wide to the corners of the mat both arms up if you may grabbing hold of the opposite elbow if you know this tingling sensation lower your arm to your side palms facing up Wherever you're at, close your eyes and take this moment here. We've come to the end of the practice in your savasana. Allow yourself one final moment of release. Any feeling of stagnation, sluggishness and fatigue. As you relax through your feet, your shin, your thighs, your hips, your belly, your chest, your neck, your jaw. Your eyebrows, your forehead, all the way to the top of your head, your shoulders, your arms, your fingers, and maybe flick away any remaining sluggishness just flick it away and close your eyes we will end the practice here today thank you all for joining me i hope you have a cozy evening ahead cozy day wherever you're practicing i appreciate you for showing up here and i hope this practice help release even a little bit of that stagnation. Till next time my love, namaste.